Sam, congratulations. You've just uh, signed a new contract here at Reading Football Club. I'm, I'm sure you must be really happy to, uh, to sign the new deal. Yeah, I'm delighted. I get to pen down a long-term contract now and can commit my future to the club. And I'm sure, Sam, you must be really pleased in the way that you know the manager's kind of really included you in his in his plans this year. You know, you went away to Holland in pre-season. You're involved since then, and you kind of kicked on. You know, you've had your first games and your first goals too. Yeah, I know. I have to thank the manager because he's given me every opportunity possible, and it's been a really good start for the season for me on a personal term. And just got a kick on now. And it's probably, if you think 12 months ago, you're out on loan with Bishop Stortford playing non league football. So that kind of, well, I suppose is echoes of what Liam Kelly did, you know, the season before, went out, you know, got experience, got a bit of adult football under their belt and kind of kicked on and used it in the back here at Redden. Yeah, that was the key, getting the experience and playing men's football week in, week out and learning to adapt from under 23s. And on a personal level too, you know, you were involved in the early weeks and you had a little bit of a setback with your injury. What was the nature of that and how is it doing now? Yeah, um, I played Knott's Forest in the league and I trapped back and got caught in a tackle and tore a ligament in my knee and I was out for three months. But I'm fully back now training with the lads. I was involved in the FA Cup. So just got to get my fitness back up now and be back in and around it. And the managers include you in the last few squads and you come off the bench you, you know, away at uh, Sheffield Wednesday recently. So you know, hopefully that, that kind of is all behind you now and it's all kind of kicking on going forward and, uh, and trying to be, get involved again. Yeah, definitely. It's just about building my fitness because I've not played a game in a while and doing working hard in training. So got to keep that up. And working hard in training too, alongside some uh, some very experienced strikers too. And I know as a young player, it must be really good to have kind of good role models and good uh, you know people who you can learn off on and off the pitch. Really like Jan, like John Daddy Poffas and Chris Martin. Of course, it's competition for places, but it's a good opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, it's training with him every day. I'm learning more and more off him. Chris Martin's just come in. I did a bit of finishing with him after training. He's a very good finisher. And the likes like Jan, like every day I learn something new off him. But it's also good that I can bring something else to the team as well because we're all different and it's nice that we've got four of us now and rotate us all about. And that's the point, isn't it? You've got to, you, as much as you're learning from them, I suppose, you know, ultimately you want to be pushing them for their places too and you've got to show the manager what, what it is that you might offer that's uh, a little bit beyond, hopefully. Yeah, I know. That's all I've got to do, prove on the training ground and when I get a chance, I've got to take it. And lastly, you know, coming towards the end of the season, I suppose the the key for now, the key for you now, I suppose, is just to yeah, see where see where how often you can get and get in that team and try and get off the bench where possible and, and take those chances. Yeah, that's it. Just get my fitness back up, and then when I get them chances, I've got to take them. But hopefully, I can do that, and we can push up the league. Thank. You.